sound better. For the transient, I want to use another instance of operator. Let's drop it onto a new track and I want to add a MIDI clip. And what is the most important part here is not really the note of the transient, but uh, I'm going to use a G1 here but the position of the transient and the midi clip of course because as you can see the bottom starts here and the transient always must and always needs to start a lot earlier so we need to follow these steps these distances between the transient and the bottom so on the operator i want to use this fm algorithm and i want to use a simple sine wave for the first oscillator let's push it up to two courses and I want to use it pretty short, so at around 200 milliseconds can be really good. I also want to modulate it with another waveform on course 2 again. So let's push it up to, well, crank it up to the maximum. And let's make the second, the modulator, a little shorter, like about 23 or 25 milliseconds. And this time I don't want to use a simple sign, but I want to add a few harmonics, so something like this. Yeah, something like this can be good. Now our sound is something like this. But to test it in real life, let's crop the original transient and we will hear how it really sounds. Okay, so this is not very drastic now. So let's continue working on it a little. Next, I want to add a noise loop like a noise loop this and let's crank out the course to about 618 and let's crank up the volume again it's a lot better now we can hear that uh, noisy kind of thing the percussion kind of thing which is not always the best but we're going to fix that a little later and again i want to use another operator so crank it up too and on course four this time which can be a simple sine wave, but what I want to do is play around a little with the phase because this can create very nice tone. So let's solo the transients only and listen back what we can do and how the sound changes when we play around with the phase. And also we can play around with the second oscillator, oscillator B, which, you know, looks like a sort of saw wave kind of thingy. Okay, this can be an interesting tone. So this is all here in operator and what I want to do here is maybe play around with the time because this is going to make our sound, you know, like clickier or beefier. It, it really depends on what you need for the snare. Okay, we don't want very beefy transients now so let's go with this and let's continue adding some effects so first i want to add an overdrive and just you know crank it up crank the filter up and add now an eq8 to get rid of the very lows because that is very distracting so we don't want to have that at all and let's crop the very highs a little we don't want too much highs here but the very very highs like at around 10 kilohertz we can have a cut okay this is not bad and uh, now let's add an ott
Okay, what I did here is I simply pulled back the volume on the low band because we don't need that. And of course, the output can be a little too much. You know, it is clipping, but don't mind that. We're going to fix that with a saturator and other effects. Um, but before we fix it, we will need another EQ, you know, to make more adjustments on the sound. So like have a cut on the very lows at around 200 Hertz. And again, on the very highs, so at around 2k can be good but let's make a boost a little on at around well three and four hundred four thousand hertz so this is what we get now which sounds pretty good because we have that little beefy kind of low end but not the very lows the middle base is the middle lows at, at around 200k which will play pretty well with the transient of the bottom part so i mean the very first hit of the bottom part and of course we, we won't have any conflict uh, like you know hi-hat kind of frequency on a transient which to be honest i don't really like if you want to add a hi-hat just do it adding a hi-hat but not with the transient i don't really like that method so right now we can add the saturator because you know we don't want hard uh, digital clipping but we want some soft clipping and maybe we can add some drive to the sound Okay, cool. Now, uh, saturator always gives some unwanted frequencies, but we again want to filter. So let's have a cut on the very lows and boost a little on the highs, just a pinch of it, and maybe some cut and some decreasement at around, I don't know, like 8 kilohertz can be good. So let's see what we get. Okay, cool. What I like to add is a glue compressor, you know, to make the sound even clickier. So let's take a glue compressor and crank up the ratio, pull back the threshold very drastically. This is how I like to start with the sound. So I like to add drastic changes, like drastic tweaks on the, like the ratio and the threshold. And uh, what I like to add is more attack, less release. And you know, if I'm not satisfied with the result, I mean, if it is too much, I can play around with the drive at no. So this is a very nice thing. And also let's activate the soft click button. So this will avoid digital clipping. Okay, and another saturator to the end, or we could use a limiter. Let's see what is the difference if we use a limiter. Okay, I think we still need another EQ after the compressor because um, you know there are frequencies low frequencies what I think may conflict with the bottom so let's have a cut at around I don't know like four or five hundred hertz Okay, so I think we can go with this. So let's check all together what we have now. Okay, so the result is not very drastic because our transient on the bottom is already very like clicky and very obvious. But of course, this can still add some punch to it. 
so if you are still not very satisfied with the sound what you get you can play around with the time so this way you will be able to add more presence to the transient so let's try it now Now this is obviously too much, so let's seek at around, I don't know, between 0 and 10. Okay, I kind of like it. And uh, you know, this is a very, very basic transient, but the cool thing in this is you can still tweak this transient by, you know, moving the levels, choosing different waveforms or even tweaking the course. So this can give you an endless possibility to create your own transients. Now, there is another very, very cool technique to create your own transients. If you use a Foley sound, like a Foley percussion sound, it doesn't really matter what you want to use here and what you use. You can even create and record your own sound. Now, for example, let's try this. I have a pen in my hand and la let's hit my desk with it, like recording this stuff. And let's see what we can do with this. I'm arming a new audio track. Okay, we can have a mono track, we don't need to use a stereo one, so let's do this now. Okay, so this is the sound. Let's use this. Or, or even this is a cool sound. So this is a Foley sound, what you can basically use up in any way. But obviously this hit needs some process, so what I can do here is group all the effects what I used here and try it on the Foley sound. Oh, what a cool sound, it can be even a snare or a clap head. Maybe we can use it up a little later. Let's use this second one up, okay? So let's shrink it like so. I don't want to use too long decay for the sound, but a kind of short thingy, some, something like this. But this is already a very, very nice transient sound. So let's make a new audio track, set it to resample and let's record it. Boom, that's it. So this is our transient. It already looks pretty nice. And what we can do here is grab this and, uh, you know, move it to the operator transient position what we can mute and let's see what we get of course we will need to adjust the length of the transient but let's see now what we get this way Okay, on minus two semitones, I think this sounds pretty great. So this is how you can make your own transient for your snares. I think the easiest one, of course, like always taking a Foley sound and just, you know, process it till you are satisfied with the sound. And uh, if you are more into sound design, the operator technique 
can be more satisfied with you it really depends on what motives and what inspires you the most so this was about the transient and in the next video we are going to make the noise part which is not a real noise but we will see it in the next video